While filming my projects inside, I realized the need for a larger battery for my camera. As my M50 camera maximum recording time with one battery is one hour, many project recording were a pain, switching and charging multiple batteries. Doing things like time lapses or long time projects was almost impossible. So researching a bit on the internet, found out that there are batteries out there that can be plugged directly to AC power and solve this issue. Looking at my camera, I've discovered that the slider that opens to have access to battery have a hidden secret. Then it hit me. I wanted myself to do a dummy battery for my camera that can be plugged into multiple sources, so I can basically have unlimited power. Let me show you how I did it. So firstly I've started to take measurements of my battery, then came up with this basic design in SketchUp. It actually was my first ever project on a 3D printer, so I didn't give too much importance to many details. Quickly transfer it on SD card and let the printer do his job. It was almost perfect. Or that was my initial thinking. The fitting could be tighter, but I did not worry too much about that. Sneak peeking inside the camera, I can see that the power contacts are fitting very well also. And that makes me a very happy man. Now my idea is to use this cheap DC-DC step-down module, which can be found anywhere, and place it inside the battery. With this $2 step-down module, I can plug anything from 4.5 volts to 28 volts and output anything from 0.8 to 20 volts and that's more than enough. The voltage of the output can be modified by this adjustable resistor. Now I know my output voltage should be around 7.2 volts and I have room for error as the original Canon battery when fully charged has 8.4 volts and the minimum probably around 6 volts. Now the best part is that I can put any input up to 28 volts and it will output the same. So I can plug it in on my solar panel, LiPo battery or even directly to my car battery and it will work just fine. My issue was to fit something to connect plus and minus. So I've cut two tiny pieces of small aluminum that can fit into slots. Also the two basic initially design I had needed some improvements. Experimenting with the 3D printer software, I've made the settings for a top quality print. I wasn't sure what to expect, it was my first time doing that. So the estimated time for completion was about 2 hours. And after a quick 1 hour which I patiently waited, I needed to swap the camera battery. And guess what, I've accidentally pressed the power plug switch and destroyed again the printing. It was already getting late, so I ripped off the battery and good for me, the connector area was fully printed, so at least I could test fit if I can put the connector pieces. And yay, it was again almost perfect. Call the day off, leave the office and hurry to buy some water so I can stay hydrated. Now the next day, first thing in the morning, powered on the 3D printer and hit it for another try. And after one more day of failing, I finally got a design that could work. Ok, fit testing everything, my DC connector is a bit larger, so using this sophisticated tool, I will adapt it accordingly. Soldering up everything. Using my hot glue gun, I put everything in place. The DC connector, step down module and the tiny battery connectors. I measure one more time the output voltage to be sure I haven't moved the potentiometer and for safety 
you can put a drop of hot glue so you know it stays unmoved. Now the real test. And it's working. Now I know there's ton of room for improvement. For example, you can make a step up step down module which converts also lower voltage to what camera needs. This way you can use any external phone battery to power it. And it may be even more useful for you. But maybe we can remake this project in the future with better electronics and design. I hope you've learned something useful today or at least it was interesting to watch. So if that's the case, please hit the thumbs up. Or if you like this kind of content, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. It will give me positive feedback so I know I need to post more content. See you soon.